Don't want to get injured. Don't want to get hurt. Last thing I want to see is anybody getting injured during this or any other workout. Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. Today we have a quick dumbbell workout. It's not really a hit workout. It's made up of five exercise sets. We're going to perform each exercise set for 10 repetitions and then take a 30 or 40 second break between the exercises. This is perfect. You're strapped for time. You get a nice full body workout in about 15 minutes or so. I assume this is kind of hard to time. Always remember guys, stay in control throughout all the exercises. Don't want to get injured. Don't want to get hurt. Last thing I want to see is anybody getting injured during this or any other workout as consistency is probably the most important thing that we could do. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. There are chapters in this workout so you can kind of check out the exercises right now so you can determine the amount of weight that you want to use. For example, I'm using 25 pounds or 25 pound dumbbells for all the exercises. All right, let's not waste any more time. We'll start with a burpee to a renegade row, push up, renegade row, push up. You're gonna get up and do a curl. Remember, 10 repetitions per exercise. Grab your weights, ready to go in three, two, one, on the ground. Kick back, roll, push up, roll, push up, back up and a curl. That's one. Let's go. Two. Three. Follow my pace. Nice and easy easy as far as the pacing is. The workout is not. Four. Five. Halfway there. Six, four more. And seven, three more. Eight, two more. Nine, last one. And 10. All right, now we get a well-deserved break. If I'm breathing heavy, I'm working out. So that's the purpose of this workout, right? Of any workout, getting the work done. All right, we'll take a little break. Just enough time for me to ex explain the next exercise. Move over to squat jumps. If you don't want to jump, I just want you to come up from the squat position as explosively as you can without leaving the ground. So we're gonna go down slowly and then we're gonna come up quickly. 10 repetitions. So yes, our heart rates are rushing already. And it seems like the hardest thing was done first out of this workout, it might've been. Now we're moving to squat jumps. I'm using my 25 still, so I'm jumping with extra 50 pounds. It's up to you. You wanna jump with weight or no weight. Go down slowly, follow my pace, don't rush it, and then pop up as fast as possible. All right, 10 reps, guys, that's all it is. All right, you got your weights, or you're going weight free, it's up to you. Ready, in three, two, one, let's go squat down, 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 ready, and up, boom. That's one, 
Nice and easy. Easy, easy. And two. Down. And three. Four. Hold it. Five. Hold it right here. Six. Four more. Seven. Down, down, down. Eight, explode up. Two more. Down, hold it, come on. Nine. Down. And 10. And weights down. I know, I know, that seemed really easy compared to the first exercise. Your heart rate might not be rushing as much, but trust me, doing plyometric is really important for us as that muscle elasticity kind of goes away as we age and this wakes them up a little bit and brings some of it back. So I would consider throwing a little plyometrics once a week into your workout routine. Don't do them too often as they're really hard on the body. You want to recover fully between plyometric sessions. All right, having said that, moving down to core because no workout with me would be complete if we didn't do core. Just as a reminder, I put out a little short workout videos every day on YouTube Shorts, so check those out. Anyway, we're getting in plank position. We're going plank taps. We're going 10 repetitions. So you're gonna tap the shoulder, your back, your knee, and your foot. And that's one rep. Follow along with me. Preview should be running right now. We get started in three, two, one. Get a nice plank. We're not rushing, remember. Solid plank as you can hold. And we're gonna tap, ready? Shoulder, shoulder. Back, back. Knee, knee, foot, foot. That's one rep, ready? Shoulder, shoulder. Back, back, knee, knee, foot, bring the foot up and foot. That's two, shoulder, shoulder, back, back, knee, knee, and now we're bringing the foot up. One, two, ready? That's three reps. One, two, three, four. Go to your knee, go to your knee, but now bring the foot up and bring the foot up. That's what, four? We'll call it four. Shoulder, might be an extra one, I'm not sure. Back, back, knee, knee. Foot, foot, that's five, halfway. Keep it here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's six, four more. One, two, keep the best plank that you can. I'm trying really hard here. Actually, I put my knee up on that one and then my foot up. You know, I kind of lose my mind when I'm tired. That's seven, we got three more. Boom, boom, knee, knee, foot, foot. Two more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, last one, ready guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I almost fell on the last one. I think there was 10 and 11 repetitions. Close enough for government work, as I say. All right, Whew. let's take a little breather. Now we're moving on to the hamstrings, the back, and the back of the shoulders. So we're gonna do RDL, followed by a row. Once again, preview should be running up and ready, ru running right now. My nose is running, that means I'm working hard. That's generally what happens if you guys are new here. Anyway, RDL, row, reverse fly, 10 repetitions. Same weights I was using before, so a pair of 25 dumbbells. On the RDL, go down slowly, come back up slowly. Keep your knees almost straight. The butt goes back, you come back up as soon as the butt starts going, stops going back. So ready? 10 reps, ready? Three, two, 
One, let's go. Down. Now my ass is stopped going back. Doesn't go back any further than that. Go back up. Go back down. Row. And fly. And then come back up. And that's one rep. Ready? Down. As far as you can. Up. Down halfway. Row. Fly. Boom. And back up. And that's two. Looking good. Down as far as you can. Feel that stretch. Back up. Relax. Down halfway. Row. Fly. And back up. And that's three. Ready? One. Two. Halfway. Three. Four. And that's four. Down. Stay with me. Up. Halfway. Three. And four. And that's five. Halfway there. Ready? Down. Up. Oh, feels good. Halfway. Three. Four. And that's six. Keep it nice, nice and tight. Down. Up. Down halfway. Three. And four. And back up. And that's seven. Let's go. One. Two. Halfway. Three. Four. And up. And that's eight. Two more. Up. Halfway. And that's nine. And last one. Let's go. Down, full stretch. Back up under control. Down. Roll. Fly. And back. And that's 10. And that does it for exercise number four. We have one more exercise. Just one more. It's not gonna require dumbbells unless we have really light dumbbells or else you're super strong then feel free to do what you're seeing on the preview screen right now. A little bit more core on the ground. Right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot, both hands, both feet, 10 repetitions, nice and easy. Let's not waste any more time. I wanna warn you right now, the sound might get a little messed up whenever I lay down on the ground and do a sit up type of movement. The biker forward goes into my chin and the sound gets muffled. So I apologize ahead of time. Make sure I get enough room. This will suffice. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. And bolt. That's one rep. Two. Three. Control four. Five. Halfway there. Keep it going. Six. Seven. Two more. Last one. All right. So that was it guys. That was our quick little dumbbell workout. Hope you got everything going. Hope you're feeling better. Pretty much activated kind of everything. I feel good, I'm ready to start my day. Once again, this is Fit After 50. I'm Paul, this is my basement. 
all the workouts come filmed right here from my basement. So if I can do them here, you can do them at your house. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you guys during the next workout.